Well, this week, we're taking some of your questions about the COVID-19 vaccine to the experts. We're trying to get answers for you as more people become eligible to get the vaccine. This morning, we're asking doctors if people with allergies need to be cautious about the vaccine. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott explains who doctors say should see an allergist before getting vaccinated. Doctors tell us having allergies doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have a problem getting vaccinated for COVID-19, but they say it all depends on how serious your reactions have been in the past. Specifically for someone like me that has so many allergies to pretty much everything, I am concerned. Some people who have allergies are feeling cautious about getting the vaccine, but doctors say there's really only a small group of people who should take some extra steps. Let's say they took penicillin or amoxicillin one time and they had just a, a little bit of a rash or they had an upset stomach afterwards, that typically is not a, a contraindication for the vaccine. And while doctors tell us there isn't a concern for anyone with pollen allergies or for people who've had mild reactions to medications, people who've had severe allergic reactions should take some precautions. If someone has had an immediate allergic reaction and what that is would be something like hives or what's called angioedema, which is swelling of the lips or the airway, or they had wheezing or anaphylaxis after any other type of vaccine or injectable type of therapy. Experts say these are the people who would need to be monitored for 30 minutes after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine and may benefit from seeing an allergist beforehand. The bottom line is for anyone with allergies who has questions, it's never a bad idea to speak to your primary care provider. I am allergic to several like several different antibiotics um, i've always had bad reactions i would get hives doctors stress unless you've had a severe allergic reaction to medications or vaccines in the past there's no indication you'd have a bad reaction to the covid19 vaccine reporting from tampa larissa scott abc action news